As I harvest what is left of the winter garden, I was reminded of a past conversation that I had with one of my cousins about kale. When I asked her if she liked eating kale, she told me she is not a fan of any vegetables that became popular after the year 2000. So today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making a kale salad that is worthy of her liking. And this kale salad is raw. Before we begin, Please like and share this video. Also, subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on new content. This is what is left of our winter kale harvest. Now the most important step in preparing any leafy greens from your garden for consumption is to thoroughly clean them. This is the end of the first round of cleaning. For our second round of cleaning, fill a large stock pot with salt water and add your kale to it. Grandma Bessie used to do this stuff in the bathtub because that is where you cleaned a large bounty of leafy greens. If you are a child of the southern United States who is of a certain age, I'm sure you have experience soaking greens in the tub to clean them. For best results, allow your greens to soak overnight. It is the following morning and it's still not time to make our salad. Why? Because we have another round of cleaning. To do so, remove the kale from the salt water bath, place it in a colander, and rinse it again. Notice the dirt left behind in the salt water bath from the first three rounds of washing. Now we can begin preparing our salad by chopping the kale into bite-sized pieces. Remember to remove the stem while continuing to look for outside debris that can still be on the kale. Even after four rounds of washing, you can still find small critters on your greens. So what do we do? We rinse them again. Since this is my final round of cleaning, the kale is placed in the colander of my salad spinner. Once rinsed, spin to remove the excess water from the kale. Dump the kale in a bowl large enough to mix or toss it. You can add whatever vegetables you like to this kale salad. Just make sure you chop them to size. I chose to add radishes, hearts of palm, carrots, tomatoes, onions, roasted pecans, and red bell pepper. All that's left to add to this lovely colorful bowl is the sesame ginger dressing. I love sesame ginger dressing, but never thought of dressing raw kale with it until my sister-in-law Kathy made it for me, and I am thankful she did. While our recipes for the dressing differ slightly, they both produce the wow factor results of this dish. For today's salad, I am using my version of the dressing. To begin, peel and chop a large piece of fresh ginger root. The larger the piece, the better. Now, roughly chop four to six cloves of garlic. I lean on the more garlic chopped, the better side. To your blender, add sesame oil and olive oil, balsamic vinegar, light soy sauce, honey, brown sugar, ginger root, 
garlic, and red pepper flakes. Blend on high speed until combined. Now that our dressing is finished, we can combine our salad. Drizzle half of the sesame ginger dressing over the salad and combine. Place the salad in the refrigerator for a few hours to overnight. This allows the kale to wilt while absorbing the dressing. And store your remaining dressing in a container. When you are ready to eat, garnish your salad with dressing. Sesame seeds, salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. A kale dish that even my cousin will eat. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.